Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie Blind. In the last episode, we completed the entirety of Mumbles Mountain all in one video. I doubt that is going to happen for the rest of the game, though. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on with Gruntilda's Lair in hopes of finding the second world. But before we do that, I do want to mention the situation that I'm currently in with this Jiggy on top of Mumbles Mountain. Now, you guys have told me in the comments, in order to get this Jiggy, I have to use the transformation from this world to get that Jiggy. And the thing that's weird to me about that is that you can leave the world that you're in with that transformation and you don't turn back to normal. In most games, if you have like a power-up or something crazy that's specific to that world, you can't take it with you. At least from my personal experiences. So it's weird that you're able to leave a world with a transformation from this world and I could take it to the overworld. But that's pretty cool though. Now the reason why I'm showing this off is because I do want to mention some things about this game that I did not even know upon Let's Playing It. Apparently I have a much easier time in this game compared to the N64 version. In the N64 version, as I'm told, you cannot save your note progress. So if you die while getting notes, you have to reset and you have to get all 100 notes in one sitting as opposed to in this game, it saves them automatically. You don't have to collect them upon dying. Which I am very thankful for, <laughs> to be honest with you. Now, yeah, the termite can just climb up here and get this jiggy. Cool. Now, how far can I go with this power-up? Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. <laughs> well, thank you. But how far can I go? Mumble magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Okay, so I, it, you can only go a certain point until you transform. Magic all gone, blah blah black to Baron Bird. I was not paying attention to that text. All right. So all right. So now that we got that Jiggy, which is pretty sweet, let's go ahead and use the Talent Trot, I think it's called, to continue on exploring Grunty, Gruntilda's Lair, Grunty. I think it, I think Grunty is short for that. I don't know. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars! What? It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Okay, so that's what the notes are for. Since we got 100 notes, this door requires 50, we can open the door. Cool! So the notes are important uh, to open doors, while Jiggies are important to open worlds. That door was easy, you got passed! Unfortunately, you're first and last! Who the heck are you? Hello there, young ones. I'm Gruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well. Oh god, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. I guess so. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once- Alright, we've already had that one before. Alright, I want to hear some juicy secrets. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. Ugh, okay. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Wow, that's vile. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Am I supposed to remember all that information? They seem very important, so I might want to keep that in mind. But I guess here we have the next world, right? This only requires two jiggies. To remove pieces that you... Oh, I was giving them the wrong voice. The remove pieces you already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Sure, we can put all the pictures in. And we still have nine jiggies to spare, so I guess we over-collected. But here we have, I, I believe, the second world, Treasure Trove Cove. Cool stuff. Alrighty. So, we're gonna have to find it. I don't know where exactly it is. And what is this pad? Can I use this? This is Kazooie's Shock Jump Disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. Well, that begs the question of where I'm gonna find you. Alrighty then. 
Wow, this place is huge. We can go... Can we go into there? We can also go up here. Well, that requires 180 notes to go into that world. So, I guess we can't do anything about that yet. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Sorry, you're gonna be using... You're gonna be seeing me using this ability quite often throughout the game. Because it's so broken. Hello. You've activated the magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Cool. So it's kind of like in Yoshi's story where if you find two of those guys, then you can create a shortcut and jump between, I guess, those locations, I suppose. That's pretty sweet. Is there anything on top of here? There is! Well, dang. There's so many places I could check out right now, but I... Oh, I might as well do it because... This lair is very convoluted. Uh, what is under here? I do see eggs. I do want to get those. There's also a place underneath to explore? Oh god, I don't want to spend the entire episode just exploring around, but I kind of do. Maybe eventually it'll lead me to finding the next world, so I guess this is all in good things to know. Okay, well over here is the second world, so... I guess I found it. Do I want to jump in right away? Do I want to keep exploring around the lair and see if I can find some more stuff? There's so many things here, though. Like, do you have a cannon here? Uh, uh, I'm in a, I'm in a pickle. Do I want to explore the next world right now? I probably do, considering it is the next world. But, eh. I guess here we have feathers. Wee! I'm a red feather! I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. Oh, that's pretty sweet. You know what, I don't want to spend the entire episode just exploring, but I kind of do. But, of course, we want to enter the next world. I can do all that exploring stuff later. So here we go! Ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two moves for ye to find. All right, well, that's good to know. Well, I do see a good old Jinjo right off of here. Oh, hello. Snacker smells tasty dinner. Stay just there. Oh, God. All right, well, water's definitely a bad thing right now, so I want to be careful when at all possible. All right, so water is definitely bad. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got some more notes as per usual, which is pretty good. And of course, I exploded. That's always, that's always fun, right? It's, uh, camera, those awkward camera transitions are like the worst. Because <laughs> I get so disoriented, I have no idea what to do. Oh, I see some more notes. I want to go get those right now. I do. Yeah, there's some. There's two right here. I feel like finding these notes later on uh, is going to be a real pain in the butt. Because they're going to put them in much harder spots. And not easy spots, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but... Eh, I'm pretty sure it's going to get harder later on for sure. Now, oh, God, this camera. <laughs> it's so hard trying to figure out when the camera is going to transition over to something. Uh, so we have something over there with an extra life. I don't want that. But I guess we're just going to go around and explore at the moment because why not? I mean, I, so, I see real, really no reason not to at this point. But, like I said, in games like these, you just kind of have to figure out what things you want to do first, because there's so much to do right off the bat. I can see pretty much anything to do at this point. We have a giant crab over there I want to see about. But I think I'm going to go around collecting notes. I think that might be the focus of the world for me, at least, is getting the notes. Because, wow. And you guys did say to keep track of my health, because health is vital in this game. Uh... I mean, I died at Mumbles Mountain, which I guess was pretty embarrassing, but hey, I'll get better enough to not suck next time, right? I mean, come on now. Alright, uh, I mean, we have this thing over here. I might as well see what's over here. I mean, there's more nodes. There's a nice pirate ship. There's a skull. Of course, I do want to get that. I wonder if there's a transformation in this level. Well, I can climb this anyway, so that's pretty sweet. God, there's so many nodes. I probably want to find some moves, too, so I can get going. Oh, here we go. Speaking of moves, here we are. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bog eyes. 
Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on the flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you! Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Why, thank you! I do appreciate that, my friend. Man, I definitely needed that. Alrighty, so here we have a hippo. Ahoy there! I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. Well, go find it then, Blubbergut. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help it, old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. These voices are so stupid. <laughs> but you know what? The game itself is crazy enough that it warrants having crazy voices. Am I right or am I right? Now, how do you get into the ship, I wonder? Do you go through it from underground? Do I ground pound this or something? Yep, sure enough you do. Alrighty. So we have to find some treasure, it seems. And, of course, there are some notes in here. Oh, uh, You know what's going to be even worse? What if I get 99 notes? Ahoy there! I'd be Blubber's treasure! Cool. Not, not bad. And then, of course, we have another skull for another one of uh, Mumbo's transformations, as it would seem. Now, can I get over there, or do I have to access that from a different point? Uh, I want to say I do. I mean, there's really no reason. I, there's really no way I can get over there from here. So, let's get out. And is there another point of entrance from the other side? Oh, first of all, I should probably give this to you, right? Hey, that be half of me gold. Oh, there is another point of entrance, and it's right here, man. I'm crazy. All right, let's go right on in. And then this will be the other half. So let's go ahead and collect some notes, because notes are nice. And here is the treasure we're trying to collect. Holding the A button while you're swimming is definitely nice. Try to get those precision precision swimming techniques going on for you. Now, I want to make sure that I don't miss any notes here because since there are notes here, I don't want to accidentally forget one or two and then screw myself later on. That would not be fun at all. Let me tell you, that would really suck. All right, so let's see what we... Camera. Actually, that might have been my... Uh, my analog stick on my controller being stupid. <laughs> and can, all right, use this to get up here, and then we have another treasure. Let's go ahead and throw it somewhere. And there you go. Me treasure. Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I guess we get ourselves a treasure of our own. Our very first jiggy. That's always welcoming, and the fact that it's our first Jiggy is pretty crazy. <laughs> we still got nine more of these things to go, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, I'm just more or less exploring than anything else at the moment. I'm sure we'll get some more as we move along. Now, we do have the ability to fly, so do I want to check that out now, or do I just want to keep on exploring? There was one thing I wanted to check out, and that was a giant crab. Is that near here? Yeah, he's right over here. I want to go and see what he's up to, because he's a big crab. Look at this guy. Hey, this Nippers Beach, you find nothing without Nippers help. Help us then, Crustacean Brain. Grrr, cheeky bird knee feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, Shellhead. <laughs> okay, so you do stop. So I can hit you in the eyeball. Rawr, you hurt Nipper. Makes me mad. Okay, hit you again. If this is the boss fight, this is a really pathetic boss. And wow, he's gone. As easy as he was to beat him, he's gone. How great. Alright, let's get right on in here. Collect these notes, and I'm guessing at the end of this tunnel is going to be a jiggy for us waiting at the end. And... No, there's not. Or maybe I have to kill these guys. Oh, there is a totally a jiggy up here. Alright, fantastic. So there we go, two Jiggies out of ten, of course. They have some eggs here that I want to collect. Now I want to make sure there's no notes left, because notes are important. So, I guess it's time we get out of here. Now, if that was a boss fight, that was a pretty dang easy boss fight. But, eh, I'm not going to criticize, I'm not going to complain. It's a, I don't think it was intended to be a challenge, I guess. I think it's just a little, little place to go through. Now let's see here, we have these guys. Is there things in them? Yeah, and this one has eggs, so... 
That's sweet. That's pretty sweet enough as it is. Uh, now we can... Oh, there's so many things to explore. I want to stay in this section right now because I don't, I want to make sure I get literally everything I can. And I think it's a great time to try out our flying techniques. Now, how do we do that? Oh, we just press the A button. To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. You can also turn sharply while in the air. Camera! Camera. What are you doing? Okay, so in order to go higher, you have to press the, uh, the button. Also, right in the distance there, I do see a honeycomb, and I want to collect that because that is important. So let's get right here, ground pound, and pick that up. So there's one more left, and over there I do see a skull. Now let's go ahead and grab that. Yee, Stacker gets dessert too! I'm guessing you do not want to be in the water at all because stupid shark boy will murder your face if you're not careful. So that's not fun, though. Now, okay, there's notes in this guy, so I do want to make sure I check all of these spots. Or else we're going to have a really bad time later on. Alright, buddy, open up your face so I can get inside and I take damage. Did I get hit from his teeth? Or I'm going to assume that's what happened there. Collect some more notes, get ourselves out really abruptly. And you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode off here. It We're at about 16 and a half minutes now. And let's see our totals. I think we did pretty good so far for finding this world and getting right into it. Two jiggies and one and a half, or one honeycomb piece and 59 notes. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well here. So, I think next time on Banjo-Kazooie Blind, we're going to be continuing on with Treasure Trove Cove and probably going to finish the rest of this world. Who really freaking knows? So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Banjo-Kazooie Blind. See you guys then!